Do you know what just happened? Well, you are correct. Earthquake occurred. Hi everyone! I am Sarinis Espareño from Atainan Karanglan Integrated School. Let's talk about an earthquake today. The surface of the earth is just like a jigsaw puzzle. It consists of approximately 20 puzzle pieces. The pieces of land are constantly moving, but we won't able to feel it because they're moving quite slowly. Scientifically, we call these land pieces as tectonic plates. As these plates move, there are possibility that they can bump, hit, or slide past with each other. This is the time that an earthquake will occur. Earthquake is divided into three types. First, convergent boundary. On this type of earthquake, the plates are moving towards with each other. Many hills and mountains have been formed due to convergent plate boundary. Another is the divergent boundary. Here, the plates are drifted apart from each other and can form a rift zone which caused a new ocean floors. Lastly, transform fault, or also known as a strike slip. On this type of earthquake, the plates are moving past a slide with each other. Experts use this instrument to measure the seismic wave that traveled through Earth as an outcome of earthquake. FIVOX, or the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, is a Philippine agency responsible for forecasting volcanic eruption and earthquake and determine how they occurred and what areas are likely to be affected. Earthquake can be measured in two ways, through magnitude and intensity. Magnitude refers to the energy released by an earthquake, while intensity refers to the degree of shaking caused by an earthquake at a given place. When do you think it will happen? Well, it happens all the time. Now, the question is, what will you do if an earthquake occur? First and foremost, don't panic. Do the dock, cover, and hold. If you were in the building of school like this, go under the table and hold the table until shaking is over. After the shaking, go to the open space like this, or a bigger space like this. So ladies and gentlemen, the tectonic plates are always slowly moving, but they get stuck at their edge due to friction. That's it for today. Till next in Sikala time. Bye-bye!